What's up? This is Steve with Digital Media Pocket Knife, and I want to create the supplemental vi supplemental video. There we go to the uh, Canon EOS DSLR uh, uh, live stream Facebook live stream setup video that I had created previously. This is to deal with uh, installing the EOS utility from Canon on your MacBook. For some reason, it's giving me some troubles, and I want to kind of show you the problems that I'm having. Maybe you're having similar problems. Uh, this is the one reason why I cannot get the EOS utility to work on my computer and why I can't use the Facebook um, live stream with my DSLR camera. You can see it, maybe it's there running in the background. I actually don't know what you can see. <laughs> I didn't frame this shot up before I shot this, but uh, this is the uh, the disc that I'm gonna be installing it from, uh, from the internet, or actually this one's from uh, the box that Canon sent me with my computer. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of you don't have this piece of software and you're trying to download the Canon drivers from their website. Um, and that's not working for you either and you're wondering well do I need the the actual disc that came with my camera yes and no it's easier to install it from the disc but you can definitely do it without the disc install the program without the disc um, and I go over that in the tutorial video I'll put a link in the description below uh, but I want to show you what happens when I actually install this from disc so we're gonna walk through that right now I'm gonna take the disc I'm gonna put it in my MacBook now, as you can see on the screen here, I don't have the Canon EOS folder that gets created when you do install the software. So it's not here. You're not going to see it. Um, I did un or successfully uninstall that piece of software. So when the disk runs, um, we're going to start the installation from disk. should put an icon on my desktop. If not, I'll open the disk from the applications folder. Now, some uh, of the Canon discs say it's a different version. Mine was 24.1, yours might say 29.1. Um, I don't know that that matters. Um, I th believe that what that means is it's the version of the software that came with your camera when your camera was um, released. So mine just happened to be 24.1. You can go to Canon's website and download the latest software. Not a big deal. Um, this is just the version that came with my camera. Good Lord almighty, this is taking forever to load. There we go. Okay, so the Canon EOS Digital Installer. I'm going to double click that and let's see what happens. Well, I know exactly what's going to happen. It's actually just going to load the disk on the screen. It should give me the menu that comes up um, asking me, you know, do I actually want to install this? And I'll walk through those steps here. So I click on my region, click on my country, click next, click install. Hopefully it asks me for custom. There we go. Custom installation, click next, read through supersonic speed click agree now the only thing I want to install here is the EOS utility uncheck everything else click next BAM EOS utility is going to be installed I'm happy don't install anything else calculating now if this runs like it's run before it's going to look like it installed successfully but pop up uh, uh, an error code I believe it's uh, there was a problem error 10 is what it's going to say not really sure what that means. I haven't been able to find anything on Google about it, um, but I believe that that's what's causing the problem with the software not being able to run on the machine. Um, again, works just fine on my Windows setup over here. I've got Windows 10, um, and it has not been an issue. So here we got installing EOS utility at 100%, total installation process at 99. Less than a minute remaining. I'm going to say any second now is when it should... Okay, there we go. For some reason it decided to bring up my Chrome. Cool. I don't know why it keeps launching Chrome. It's kind of interesting. Canon Image Gateway. No, I do not want to register that. I'll register later. It wants to, my password. I authorize this. Yes. No, I will register later. There's the error code. An error has occurred. Error code equals 10. What does that mean? Canon, I don't know if you can help me figure this out or if it's a Mac thing, if Mac, if, if Apple needs to get on the ball or what. Okay, if I click OK, Canon Image Gateway, no, I will register later. Okay, you can reg register the Image Gateway later. Boom. Okay, EOS Utility is finished, installed. Click Finish. Um, we're going to kill that page. Applications. Okay, so now I have a Canon folder, Canon Utilities in here. Okay, I'm going to close the disk. If I go ahead and I click on double click Canon Utilities, it should load the EOS uh, utility that I just installed. On my other screen, I'm actually going to go to uh, 
Canon's website and uh, download the latest driver so that I can show you what happens with that as well. What I want to do at this point is to finish the installation process. So I, that's finished, and so I'm trying to open it or open up the program uh, that I installed in my applications folder. For some reason, my computer's taking a long time to think of things. It's probably because I'm screencasting. Using ScreenFlow, love this tool. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing on my other screen. Oh, this just popped up. EOS Utility. Watch what happens when I try to launch the EOS Utility. And that's still taking forever. I'm not really sure. So let's show you what I'm doing on my other screen as well. Okay, I want to download the driver, the latest EOS utility driver for my camera, the T3i, uh, my operating system's El Capitan 10.11.6. I should have shown you guys that earlier. Let's do this. About this Mac. <sighs> 10.11.6 El Capitan. This is the version I'm working with. Uh, I'm going to download the updated EOS utility. And I'm going to try to run. Let that run. I'm going to try to run EOS utility. It may have put a shortcut down there. It sure did. Now, your guess is as good as mine as to why it suddenly created um, two utilities. Two uh, quick launch icons for uh, the EOS utility. But let's just double click the one that's in this folder. It tries to launch this. Alert. Cannot be used with this version of the operating system. Great. Why not? Maybe it's because I don't have the drivers associated with this, op this operating system. Great. Okay, so we go to Canon's website. We download the latest driver from their website for the detected operating system, EOS X El Capitan 1011 detected. Okay. EOS Utility 2.14.20A updater for Mac. Okay. Minimize this. Uh, let's actually open this up. The updater. Boom. Let's open up the updater. I'm going to throw the updater on my desktop first to make it a little easier to work with. Close this, close this. Let's just move this over here. Okay, here's what I just dragged to my desktop, this folder right here. I'm going to unzip everything, work on the desktop, make it easier for you to follow along. It unzips the file. Perfect. Uh, update DMG. Let's click on the DMG. Okay, it's opening up the DMG. This is what was inside the zip folder. It's this disk. Now, since I have my original Canon disk in my computer, I'm not going to worry about you know modifying the installer file to make sure that it runs on my machine. That's only uh, a step that you need to take if you do not have the Canon disc. And I have the Canon disc, so at this point it's not a big deal. Um, I can just run the utility, the installer, right from this downloaded file. Okay, now that the uh, installer has successfully loaded, I'm going to double click on it. And we'll wait for some more. Okay, my computer is set to ask me this, so I will click open. I know where the software is coming from. Software. Uh, to be updated cannot be found insert the cd-rom and then click start cd search so let's click start cd search it's going to find my disk that's already in the computer down here we're going to see the installer try to launch and fail boom that's what happens when i try to update from the canon disk so i'm unsuccessful in running the software from the disk that canon gave me and then when i try to run the updater uh, with the disk in the computer, it tries to run the installation process and fails to open the updater. So, not sure if this is a Canon thing, a, an Apple thing, or, or what's going on here. So, if anybody else is having this issue with their uh, Canon, connecting their Canon to their computer, um, and using it for live stream, or just installing the EOS utility, I'd love to hear your comments below. Um, maybe if we get some numbers behind this, Canon or Apple will take notice and hopefully give us a fix or solution for this um, ASAP because from what I understand both of them are uh, a little slow in carrying out updates so again um, send me uh, your thoughts your comments in the comment section below and thanks for tuning in hopefully this helped uh, if you are in the same boat as me just know that you are not alone thanks guys this is Steve digital media pocket knife we'll talk to you soon